Okay, so I brought this chart up from the past. And what we're looking at is the modal key of C. That's why I call the, the seventh the minus C. Okay, because that's what it looks like. And it starts on the uh, seventh here. It's a, a minus C there. I don't know why that's not um, a B. Because I think we're in the key of F there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, root? No, here's C shape, C major. All right, so it's it's a C shape, C major, and then we go to the two minor, the three minor, and the fourth is going to be E shape. And let's just look at that. Here is our Locrian, uh, our Lydian rather, that we were just looking at. Four, six, root four, six. Here's the E shape right there. Okay, the root right there. That we got. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, that this is the thing to remember. This, uh, this guy right here. As far as modes. Alright. Well, seem to have lost my um, place here with the chart. So. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, so here we are, we're back, we're back, and I could just add that little thing right there. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're looking at. We're starting on the C shape here. You would get a C, and then you get, uh, actually starting on root here, um, but this root is likely and E down here. So if you want to start with root down there, you, you know, you have problems that you don't get to the C shape until up here. All right, so that's why, you know, it's a good idea to start caged, you know, with the C shape, open C shape at the end of the guitar. Of course, this is down tuned. So we've spoken about this is chart 49 now, so this is an important chart, okay? Um, so these are the modes, and how we got to Locrian is actually has a C shape, but it's, it's like minus C. You know, here is C itself, yet it's a fret down below from that, so that's why it says minus C there. Um, the root would be... Uh, it says C shape. I'm not sure what that means. I think in the key of C. And then D would be D minor, E minor. But this F is an E shape. So these are shapes. And this this particular uh, modal representation is actually for, it could be for a different uh, a different keyboard that started here instead of starting down here and the E shape, all right? So, you know, because this goes E, D, C. Okay, then it does its Locrian, uh, its Lydian thing, then C, and then A starts on the fifth, G starts on the sixth. Why does G start on the sixth? Because on, your, on the guitar, regular guitar, you have your, your G, and you have your E the low note E and that is the 6 of G that's why G starts on the 6th the G shape and there's your double R characteristic of the G shape cage so we've talked about that we've talked about we want to look at a little bit more on the modes before we get to the exciting stuff today with the patterns uh, and how they how we can move horizontally with them really easy. It's easier than I thought. Um, but it's, it's, there's two types of pattern stacks that we're working with here, that I'm working with here, that I developed. They all came from these two guys right here. The S3L and the S2L. And the S3L came from an S3S 
which is just the same pattern without the 4 and the 7. So you would have this little square here. You have this little, this stack of three high and this stack of two lo low long. You put them together and you get your pentatonic scales. Just one on top of the other. Seven under three, root under four, two under five, and perfect fourth. And then you get this guy on top of here. So it'd be six under two, seven under three, root under four. Stack them up, and this is what you get. 7 under 3, root under 4. Stack them up like that. And that's how they're played if the guitar was tuned like this. But it's tuned like the last two notes go. So you have to adjust for that. It's just like um, playing the piano in a different key. You simply have to physically adjust for it. And that's all that is. Once you get used to it, 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 it you love it. It's, there's, it's not a problem. It's a little different than, you know, as simply as, well, now I have to do, but when I had to do, uh, when I had to deal with accidentals with the piano instead of all the white keys, That's pretty much going around the horn there. It was not fun. <laughs> it was not making me happy. Accidentals were nothing but difficult and completely unreachable. <laughs> I wasn't that young, but you know, they were kind of in there and what the heck were they all about? I didn't know. All I got to remember with guitar, aside from normal um, uh, scale theory, which is how you build a scale, you know, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, that kind of thing, is the tuning warp. Okay, so the last two guys, instead of going like this, they go. It sounds like something from Twilight Zone. Okay. So all of these patterns, every one of them that you see that has this 7L kind of shape and a perfect square to it and all, they have to go through that warp when they get up there, when they get up there to the uh, top two strings there. So how do the modes assign to these, these uh, string levels, these, these element levels? Elements, I, I don't know if they're elements, whereas an element would be more like this three and this four would be an element. The string, uh, I just call them strings because these are strings, okay? This is five, six, seven, that's, it would be a string below this one. So here's the assignments, all right? This is just the way they stack up. So it doesn't all go root, two, three, four, you know, um, because we have to follow the pattern, because what it is is, say we're looking at root here, you see root? We're not gonna go to two on the next string, okay, unless we wanna just play a one fret guitar, <laughs> play a one fret guitar or something, and you can't do it either. The next string goes to the fourth, so you have to go sideways a couple of notes and then go to the fourth. That's why we don't have it listed as Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Mixolydian Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian. It's it's listed like every third one and it keeps going round and round till it, till it comes back to the same thing. So the Mixolydian would be here, but sure you could play it the six here is the start of the Aeolian, which is the G shape. You could start it there 
and play a G.